you're on this health kick right now. Um, how many? I, th- I think I heard you say you lost about sixty pounds. No, I'm at a hundred. Hundred pounds. Well, congratulations. I'm at man. a legit hundred. I'm at a legit hundred from my like kind of a little bit more than a hundred from what my biggest was. I'm down eighty or ninety this year. It's amazing. Um, I remember the tour, last time, like, because I remember, like, what's that? We had 2016, 17. You had lost a lot of weight. Yep. Um, and I'm back this time, I got to keep it off. Well, you know, it's 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 crazy because I was talking with Big X the Plug about this because I was like, hey man, like, y- y- you're like Big X the Plug, but like, we also want you to be here, right? Do you like, worry about like your image of what the public knows you as being wrapped into being like a heavier guy? Man, I'm going to lose the weight and I'm going to break the curse. Yeah. You because you think about, there like, is a quote on quote like stuff. actor and, curse yeah. of mm-hmm. actors who lost weight that couldn't find work. But um, there's also actors that lost weight and found more work. 100%. You know what I mean? Um, but if that is a quote unquote curse, I'm going to break it. Yeah. Me and my wife actually talked about this real deep one night recently because she 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 knows whenever I get the eye of the tiger in me, she's seen it before. Now we've been together long enough that she's like, oh, I know my husband. He's not going to stop till his weight's off. Like, when he really dials in, this dude's fixing to completely shed this. And she was like, well, you know, do you have a plan sustainable to keep it off? She's just being a good woman, you know what I mean? Just having real conversations with me. And she goes, are you worried about any criticism? You know, and I was like, a little bit. I was like, I know that, I know how this works. Like, they're going to, even though I'm losing the weight in front of everybody, they're still going to like, there's still going to be some people like, well, of course you took the shot. No, I never took a shot. Yeah. There's no Ozempic you know I mean? here. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like, they're not, not that I'm against Ozempic. My doctor thinks it's great. I'm just personally not, uh, I'm afraid of stuff like that. I just don't, you I, know, I, I did I, drugs for so long. I like putting weird shit in my body no more. Fair enough. You know, fair, but it's uh, not saying I won't do it, but, um, you know, it's, I can still see her. I can imagine that I'm, I'm about another 70, 80 pounds. I got another goal to lose a lot more weight. And there'll come a point where they'll start saying I look sick. You know, and I'm cool with it. I'm just, me and her talked about it, and she was so honest. She was like, good. I just wanted to make sure it didn't hurt your feelings. I was like, no, I'm not. The difference is I think a lot of people make the mistake of going and hiding and getting healthy hmm. and then coming out healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like. And, if, and instead of doing it in front of everybody so they yeah. see that. Yeah, like watch the Daily Rolls. Dude. I put them to. on my Instagram every day. Where yeah. It's like just what we're doing in life. Um, and I'm not going to be one of them weird people that loses a bunch of weight and it becomes my identity neither. Right. Like, I feel better. I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to always be the elephant in the room. But it's like, I feel better. I'm thinking clearer. And uh, it's just, it's it's one part of what I do every day is I now eat better. I fight my di- my food addiction demon and I work out. It's just, but it still makes very little of who I am as a human. Yeah. It's only making who I am as a human better. Yeah. I'm only becoming a better human as I'm getting healthier. What, uh, for you, like, talk about just like, because, you know, for anybody who's friends with you, you've always been at a recreational uh, relationship with certain substances. Yep. Um, but for you, like, uh, you know, just being around you the last like six, seven months, I've noticed like you're like, you've like calmed down a lot when it comes to, I mean, obviously we'll drink sometimes. Yeah. You know, but was there like a breaking point for you where you were like, yo, I got to kind of kick back a little? I could not drink the way I was drinking and keep up with this schedule. Yeah. Because, you dude, know? you're the tequila god. I drink. But I don't drink a lot, but when I drink, I drink a lot. Yeah. For sure. I am legend with people. It gets It is crazy. Um, but, yeah, I just couldn't drink. I just, man, I'm so, like, I have a, one, I started implementing little, like, adult 40-year-old rules now that are, like, I don't drink unless I have a full day off the next day just mm. in case I yeah. the way I like to drink. And I haven't had a full day off. It yeah, really. backed up to a night that it made sense to drink in a long time. Right, like you know a celebratory I mean? night or something. Yeah, like that is like I, we were we were thinking about it. Like the iHeart Radio Awards was like one of those magical nights where oh, we won an award. I got up we're that celebrating night. and had nothing to do the next yeah. day. It was like score. Yeah, we you got know, we got blacked out that night, Bubba, for sure. Yeah. Because when I like. That was the night, wasn't that the night you, you fell in the pond? Yeah, the that's hotel. the night I fell in the pond <laughs> of the hotel. Splashed around. No, it's like, dude, those are the, like, if I'm going to go out and party, I party that way. And the next day, it involves real recovery for yeah. me. Like, I got to drink certain water, drink, eat food, get in a sauna, get an IV. Yeah. I'm old. I just don't have it no more. So it's like, I don't know, I'm just more, I'm more in love with the uh, pace of the work I'm doing right now. We're working at a way different pace, man. 
Yeah, it's crazy too, man. Just to see the production, like how many people are employed on this tour? 150 something. That's insane. 22 trucks, 16 buses. Bro, like it's crazy. Huge production. That's so crazy. So fun though. Like so many so people's fun. livelihoods are in this building and connected to you going on that stage and doing your your every album night, every year, doing yeah, your songs. Yeah, that's not counting the 100 plus locals every night. Uh, another hundred vendors, right? You know what I mean. So that shit's crazy. Yeah. I'm I'm curious. I know it's really you, cool. You got your bar coming, yes, in, in Nashville, uh, which is uh, I can't wait to uh, like how how far along is that process? Oh, it's there, dude. They went the other day. It's framed out. It's ready. We should be open top of the year sometime early. So you already got got the the lease together and all that. Oh no, lease. I mean, dude, this building is being has been getting rebuilt for the last eight months. Oh wow, from scratch. Oh yeah, this has been a. Um, they kept the frame of the building because it was an old concrete right. built in the 1920s concrete style. But uh, then they just framed wood inside of it. But yeah, no, it completely remodeled the whole thing. Nice. Really, really did it the right way. Yo, this Skylar And Gray this company we're with is like really, really good at what they do. Anyway. Are, I would say, are you, are you... You know them from Phoenix. You know who I'm working with, right? Who? The Bottle Blonde. Oh, shit. Yeah. They got a great place. They got a, they got a bunch of great spots. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. That's who that's... I'm working with. Oh, that's going to be crazy. And they're going to be they're able to probably guys, put them man. things everywhere. Yeah. The, the, yeah. God will. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, <laughs> holler. I'd love to expand. Um, I love it, man. T let me tell you, I want to touch this for a second. I said it and kind of glossed over it on Joe, but I'm the first... Uh, of course, Steve um, and his son BT own most of Broadway, and they're locals. They're real Nashville people, like for real. Yeah. Steve Smith and BT. But um, as a as an artist, I'm the first real Nashville guy to get a bar. It's a big deal, man. It's like I don't know. I don't feel entitled to very On Broadway, much. right? Yeah, I Which don't is... feel entitled to very much. But like being a local, it's like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at as this a local, point, that was my only complaint when I didn't think I'd ever be in the runnings for one. I'd be like, God, let Chris Young get one, or Cadillac Three, or Ernest. Like, let a local get one. I mean, you've done the the uh, the Opry. You've got a bar on Broadway. I think the next thing is owning a piece of the Titans. I would love to own. Hey, Miss Amy, I, me, me and Miss Amy are friends. Even uh, a half I got a to point. hang out with her the other day. Just give me a little skin in the game, Amy. I'll give you some money, and uh, I, I'll stay out of the business completely, Miss Amy. I just love to. You know what's crazy? I talk about that. I mean, the only way it happened is if she'd ever let me buy into the team, and I'd take, I would take whatever she'd give me. Yeah, but, of course. Um, I would have never dreamed of that, man, but Eric Church is kind of a mentor to me, mm. and Eric Church owns a piece of the Charlotte Hornets. Wow. Like a real piece. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's Church. a true story, and I heard Kenny Chesney is trying to work out a deal with uh, – with uh, his dream, I think has been to always work out with Mr. Kraft something for the Patriots because yeah. he's a lifelong Patriots fan. I mean, that'd so, be crazy. Yeah, shit. Tom Brady just bought a piece of the yeah. fucking Raiders. Got That's him. what I'm saying. Tom got him a little piece. Give me that little deal. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure. They got him a deal where he's not allowed in nothing. He's just got a little piece of the team, and that's it. You know what I mean? 